today. Um, this is Jagadish, and uh, I wanted to share with you um, a chapter and a very, very powerful ancient scripture from India called the Ashtarvakar Gita. I'm hoping I pronounced that right, but um, this is the uh, second chapter, and uh, start with there. It's called Awareness. Yesterday, I lived bewildered in illusion, but now I am awake, flawless and serene, beyond the world. From my light, the body and the world arise, so all things are mine, or nothing is. Now I have given up the body and the world. I have a special gift. I see the infinite self as a wave seething and foaming is only water so all creation streaming out of the self is only the self consider a piece of cloth it is only threads so all creation when you look closely is only the self like the sugar and the juice of the sugar cane i am the sweetness in everything i have made when the self is unknown the world arises not when it is known. But you mistake the rope for the snake. When you see the rope, the snake vanishes. My nature is light, nothing but light. When the world arises, I alone am shining. When the world arises in me, it is just an illusion, water shimmering in the sun a vein of silver in the mother of pearl, a serpent and a strand of rope. From the world streams out and in me it dissolves. As a bracelet melts into gold, a pot crumbles into clay, a wave subsides into water. I adore myself, how wonderful I am. I can never die. The whole world may perish from Brahma to a blade of glass, grass, but I am still here. Indeed, how wonderful I adore myself, for I have taken form, but I am still one. Neither coming or going, yet I am still everywhere. How wonderful, how grateful my pow how great my powers, for I am one without form, yet till the end of time I uphold the universe. Wonderful, for nothing is mine, yet it is all mine. Whatever is thought or spoken, I am not the knower, nor the known, nor the knowing. These three are not real. They only seem to be when I am not known, for I am flawless. Two from one, this is the root of suffering, only perceive that I am one without two. Pure awareness, pure joy, and all the world is false. There is no other remedy. Through ignorance, I once imagined I was bound, but I am pure awareness. I live beyond all distractions in unbroken meditation. Indeed, I am neither bound nor free, an end to illusion, it is all groundless, for the whole of creation, though it rests in me, is without foundation. The body is nothing, the world is nothing. When you understand this fully, how can, there, how can they be invented? For the self is pure awareness, nothing less. The body is false, and so are its fears. Heaven and hell, freedom and bondage. It is all invention. What can they matter to me? I am awareness itself. I see only one. Many men, one wilderness. Then to what may I cling? I am not the body, nor the body mind. I am not separate. I am awareness itself bound only by my thirst for life. I am the infinite ocean. When thoughts spring up, the wind refreshes, and like waves a thousand worlds arise. But when the wind falls, the trader sinks with, its sh with his ship. On the boundless ocean of my being, he founders in all the worlds with him. But oh, how wonderful! I am the unbounded deep in whom all living things naturally arise, rush against each other playfully, and then subside. 
Namaste.